Hello guys, so I'm just going to do a really quick video on how to tack a horse. I did this like a couple weeks ago, but it deleted somehow, so I have no idea what happened to it. And I will make another one. First, you're going to put on the saddle pad. And what I do first is I look to make sure that this strap right here is even with her shoulder line. And this is pretty much even. You're going to want to put it over her wither, so she's going to have withers back here. And you're just going to kind of pull it out a little bit. And just make sure it's even. Then you're going to go to the other side. And make sure this side is even as well. Then you're going to take your saddle. And I always put my girth on my saddle. So I'm going to put this over on her back. My stirrups are not rolled up right now, I don't think. They always come undone. But um, I'm just going to put that on there. And you want to make sure that this flap stops. Back. You want to make sure that this flap is even with the saddle pad so that they're not putting the saddle's not putting any pressure on um, any part of their body underneath back here. This saddle pad's a little bit too small, but I have to buy a saddle pad so that's why. Otherwise I would not have bought one that is a little bit off the edge. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me go through so I'll put this down here and hope that you can see. Okay, let's see. Okay. Good I think. All right, so you're gonna take your girth and you're going to look at it and this, this little uh, triangle piece of metal thing, you want that to face forward. So you're gonna take your girth and you can stick it through this, but I don't. You're gonna to wanna to take this girth strap with the roller and you're gonna to wanna to pull it up through here and put it on whatever is right for your horse. I'm just gonna put it on the third one because that's a little bit loose for her third one and I'm gonna take the other one and do the same but I left the middle strap here I don't think you can see over over your door okay you see if you can see that yeah you can you should be able to okay so you're gonna take these two and then you're gonna leave this one open like the middle one with nothing on it I always do that and then you want to make sure that this is even with right here just so, like right underneath her shoulder and then you're going to go the other side and do the exact same thing. Put it on an equal billet hole. You don't want it to be uneven. Take that, put it on the third hole, and take the other one, put it on the third hole, and then just leave that for now. Okay, now the harder part, which is putting the bridle on. So it's the harder part because the horse can walk away. So I'm just going to put this up here. You should be able to see her right now. All right. And then I'm going to take her bridle and I'm going to take off this strap. And oh, hit my camera. And then I'm going to take off the other strap. Okay. And then I'm going to take her reins. Let me just take off her lead rope. I'm going to take her reins. It's on my shoulder. Take her reins. You want to make sure. Right here, green, uh, and then you want to take this over her head, and then I'm going to take off her uh, her halter. Uh, there we go. Oh, thank you. And then I'm on the wrong side, so I'm going to go over here. You, oh, oops. Let's see. Too far away. That could be. Okay. So I trust her, and nobody else is here, so that's why I let go. But if you're at a barn with a lot of horses, you don't want to do this. You want to do it the proper way, which is holding her nose like this. And she puts her head down for me while I do this. So I'm going to take the bit up here, move this ring, and put it into her mouth. It's going to open her mouth for me. Yeah. I'm just going to take this over her ear, and then over her other ear, pull out her hair. Put this on her other ear. Here. I'm so slow at doing all this. I take my time because I don't want to hurt her. And then I'm going to take this through. I'm going to put this noseband through these straps. And then you're going to take the noseband and you're going to. I don't even think you can see this. Stop. Okay. You're going to take the noseband and you're going to fasten it to the tightest it can go. I'd say about one finger, but my trainer always says to keep it like the tightest because this is built so that their mouth cannot open while riding. 
and their mouth should not open, especially at shows. You'll get points deducted. So you want to make sure that this is tight. And this is pretty much as tight as it will go right now. This is a new bridle, so it should be able to go tighter someday soon when it loosens. And then I'm going to take her throat latch and put it up and fasten it to where I can stick, hold on, let me just fasten this, my entire hand through it, pretty much, so that's good, it's not choking her, I can stick three fingers, four fingers, whatever, the little rule of being able to do all that crap. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to just pick up the stuff with this little thing here. She's going to follow me over here, because she's so good, she's such a big girl. Okay, back up. And I totally realized that her reins are crossed, so I just didn't worry about it because it doesn't bug her, so it won't hurt her. I do that a lot because I'm like on the wrong side or whatever. So, I'm just gonna take her reins. I have to take these off anyways. What, what's the point of really making it all fancy? So, that is pretty much how you tackle horse. Um, I would say that some horses are different, so you have to hold them the entire time. Like, I let go of karma a little bit. So, don't do that with all horses, you know, because different horses can do different things. And then, once I get up to the arena, I'm going to tighten her girth. Right now it's at a three. Um, so I'm going to do that in a little while. And yeah. <laughs>